right friends welcome back to revision session this is 17th session and today we are going to deliberate some important committees during the year and still the list is uh, there so it may require another class after this to discuss about these things and from monday onwards certainly we are looking at the geography and state wise i would like to discuss various geographical aspects including some places places of importance all those things i am planning in such a way let us see how far we are able to discuss that and another important aspect please don't remember please don't forget that these slides were taken from the current affairs lectures of during the past 7 8 months and there may be some tense related problems and there may be some developments during the intervening period and the ppt is pertaining to that period so therefore there may be some tense related problems and at the same time some developments might have taken place by this time first one is neeta ambani became the first indian woman to become individual member of international olympic committee international olympic committee headquarters is in lausanne switzerland please don't forget and chairperson of reliance foundation neeta ambani will be in that post for up to 70 years up to she attains the age of 70 years and sir dorabji tata was the first to represent india in ioc and neeta ambani is the first indian woman then union government constituted district development coordination and monitoring committee and this is known as disha please don't forget and it will monitor the implementation of central government schemes and programs and here please don't forget the platform pragati which is regularly monitored by the prime minister we discussed about pragati and this disha is district development coordination and monitoring committee which is known as disha for implementation of central government schemes and programs then national committee on trade facilitation india signed trade facilitation agreement and as per trade facilitation agreement the compliance of various issues are involved and here for complying various issues national level body is to be constituted and if you look at india this nctf was a set up as a national level body to give compliance to this world trade organization and it will facilitate domestic coordination and implementation of tfa provisions and the main task is to identify the nature of required legislative changes and tools required to assess compliance and most important aspect is here pradeep kumar sinha or you can say the present incumbent cabinet secretary is chairman of nctf please don't forget right then committee gave recommendations on new education policy is headed by tsr subramanian and one important aspect please don't forget for monitoring the or reviewing the environmental laws six environmental laws tsr subramanian committee gave report long back and i have not taken that here and this is with regard to new education policy and he gave recommendations three four important recommendations i have taken here he recommended indian education service to be established as all india service second one is outlay on education must be raised to 6% of gdp third one is compulsory licensing or certification for teachers in government and private schools and renewal every 10 years based on external testing this basically to maintain or to monitor quality of education not only in government schools and private schools and mid day meal scheme must be extended to cover students of secondary schools also then top 200 foreign universities must be allowed to open campuses in our country so these are the important recommendations on new education policy given by tsr subramanian former cabinet secretary and if you go further shankar acharya committee with regard to changes in financial year the present financial year is from april 1 to march 31 and to look into the possibility of changing the financial year from january 1 to december 31st 
to coincide with the calendar year this shankar acharya committee was established madhukar gupta committee was submitted its report or border prediction between india and pakistan and as per the ministry of home affairs figures j and k including line of control longest border with pakistan is through j and k and the least border you can say is with gujarat 508 kilometers punjab 553 rajasthan 1037 j and k 1225 and madhukar gupta committee submitted its report and one important aspect is it recommended for installation of laser fencing and special precautions at river in frontiers so river in frontiers are considered to be the most vulnerable spots for infiltration of terrorists and laser fencing is recommended by madhukar gupta committee with regard to prevention of cross border infiltration between india and pakistan right then alternative to pellet guns tvsn prasad committee recommended the use of pelargonic acid vanillyl amide shells or pawa shells as alternative to pellet guns and please don't forget these are chilli filled grenades known as noni vamite and pellet guns are not to be banned altogether but they are to be used in rarest of the rare cases and the committee also explored the use of vehicle mounted active denial system developed by usa but rejected the offer because its health implications are not known at so the crux of the matter is it recommended pawa shells please go through the full form of pawa they are chilli filled grenades also known as noni vamite and now government has not banned the use of pellet guns they are still in operation and the government and the committee recommended that they should be used in rarest of the rare cases only right this is about this alternative to pellet guns union government constituted ak sinha committee to study siltation of river ganga in bihar farakka barrage is blamed by bihar chief minister nitish kumar for the floods in bihar farakka barrage please look into this this is in west bengal and it is very close to bangladesh border on one side close to bihar on the other side now nitish kumar is blaming farakka for the siltation of bihar and ak sinha committee was constituted and at this juncture please don't forget the chitale committee chitale committee was constituted how to prevent the siltation into the river as a whole starting from uttarakhand right up to west bengal how to prevent siltation so that chitale committee is different ak sinha committee is different and if you go further this expenditure management commission after this government came to power expenditure management commission was constituted headed by bimal jalan and it gave some recommendations one of the recommendation already accepted that is removing the distinction between plan and non plan expenditures and please don't forget this was taken out from this year and now the classification is only revenue and capital and railway budget and union budget are merged and akwarth committee gave recommendations with regard to railway budget in 1921 and railway budget separately was introduced from 1924 and now from 2017 18 it is merged so plan and non plan expenditure differentiation has gone away and other recommendations if you see rationalization of subsidies dbt to eliminate duplication post offices as payment banks merging plan and non plan expenditures these are the recommendations given by bimal jalan expenditure management commission right increasing the production of pulses arvind subramanian committee was constituted and arvind subramanian stated that government should procure kharif pulses urgently i am talking about at that time but here one important aspect is he recommended for building up of buffer stock of 2 million tons with the targets for individual pulses so buffer stock of 2 million tons with the targets for individual pulses then high level committee of ministers should monitor the progress on weekly basis i think this is no more relevant but this is relevant 
and the remaining things I have given here, you can go through them. Then these are further and one important aspect is states to delist pulses from agricultural produce market committees. So, APMCs should delist pulses and reviewal of essential commodities act was also recommended by the committee. Then center nominated three economists to monetary policy committee, now three RBI members and three external members, but the final casting vote or in case of tie, the final decision rests with the Reserve Bank of India governor, please do not forget and monetary policy committee inflation target based on CPI inflation is also given 4 percent plus or minus 2 percent valid up to 2021 these things do not forget and RM Lodha panel RM Lodha panel gave lot many recommendations with regard to reforms of BCCI right. So, important recommendations I have given here. So, this is about RM Lodha committee then another important aspect is government decided to set up public debt management cell as an interim arrangement before establishing PDMA. By the by, I would like to tell you one more important aspect. One of our friends corrected me recently that national investment fund where the disinvestment proceeds will go to national investment fund and that is transferred to ministry the Department of Economic Affairs. Please note that that development took place in January. That is one important aspect. Second important aspect is FIPB is going to be abolished altogether and concerned departments will look into the various guidelines with regard to the allowing this foreign direct investment which comes on government approval route for automatic automatic route there is no problem, but for government approval route now the concerned departments will give approvals instead of FIPB for the government approval route and the modal document or modal guidelines will be initiated by DIPP right. Then here public debt management cell as an interim arrangement before establishing PDMA and here one important aspect is now. Reserve Bank of India is acting as not only banker, but also the borrower for the government. Every year central government borrows around 5 lakh crores of rupees and at present the borrowing is monitored by RBI. That means the point to make here is RBI is acting both as banker to central government as well as borrower. So, now the government decided to take out the borrower role that means now RBI is looking at acting as borrower to central government. Now the public debt management agency will be established in due course of time and subsequently the role of a borrower by the Reserve Bank of India will be separated. So, in a nutshell at present RBI is looking after the borrowing functions and in future for borrowing functions separate public debt management agency will be established and as an interim measure public debt management cell is established right. So, finally, this public debt management agency will be established. Saraswati river existed says K S Valdia panel I discussed previously and this committee was constituted by water resources ministry and the river was mentioned in Rig Veda and Hindu mythology and this concluded by taking the evidence of paleo channels. Paleo channels are the remnants of defunct, defunct rivers right. So, this is one aspect and please look into this and further if you see the river emptied out into the sea which is the present day ran of Kutch and remaining things I have given here, you can go through them. This is Sarsuti Markanda rivulets in Haryana were the water courses of eastern branch of Himalayan river. So, all the things you can go through here. Next one is a four member committee was constituted for conservation of Loktak Lake and here the committee will look at the steps required to make it a UNESCO world heritage site and Loktak Lake. Loktak lake is famous for pumdis. 
what are fumdis fumdis are floating islands and kibul lamjao national park is situated on one such fumdis so please don't forget when someone talks about loktak lake that is in manipur it is a famous for fumdis floating islands and kibul lamjao national park is one example because it is situated on one of the fumdis and this is the location loktak lake in manipur and at the same time please don't forget sangai deer that is also pertaining to kibul lamjao national park so these things please don't forget when you are looking at loktak lake and kibul lamjao national park look at the next one the supreme court recently constituted justice kailash gambhir committee to verify the availability of night shelters and here the committee will look into the compliance as per national urban livelihoods mission under n u l m whether the compliance is there or not please look into this picture non availability of night shelters right this is the biggest problem in national capital right then two officials of india's capital market regulator sebi have been elected as chair persons of two committees set up by ivo ssco and please don't forget we are talking about the basel norms and bank for international settlements or bis that bank for international settlements is situated in basel switzerland and when you look at central bank rbi this bank for international settlements or bis comes to your mind similarly when you look at capital market regulator this organization should come to your mind this is iosco international organization of securities commissions right so sebi is also a member of iosco this is headquartered in madrid spain right then for promotion of yoga education in universities ayush ministry constituted hr nagendra committee please don't forget then ratan p wattel committee was constituted to give impetus or to give thrust to digital payments and the committee recommended a medium level strategy and the recommendations you can go through here and one important recommendation i would like to tell you one of the recommend recommendations is rbi will be the regulator for systemically important payment systems for big payments for large payments or huge payments rbi should be the regulator and a separate payments regulatory board for retail payments so this is one important recommendation then sit was constituted in may 2014 please don't forget please go through this slide then bank boards bureau and banks board bureau it is autonomous body looking at these aspects bad loan problems board level appointments advices on strategies for raising of funds mergers and acquisitions this is the role given to banks board bureau please look into this slide chairman three members i have given here and one important point please don't forget the ultimate goal is to form bank investment company now banks board bureau is only interim measure ultimately the goal is to form bank investment company so that the government's share in public sector banks can be transferred to bank investment company right friends this is about banks board bureau then one oversight committee was appointed for monitoring the working of mci and justice rm lotha former cji is the chairman remaining members i have given so oversight committee for monitoring the working of medical council of india these are the reasons why oversight committee was appointed by the supreme court and how it can appoint under article 1421 to do complete justice the supreme court can intervene then environmental concerns of kain betwa project one is it will destroy panna tiger reserve which is facing serious threat in recent times the second one is it is also serious threat to gharial hyenas and vultures that live in the sanctuary 
And another important aspect is environment impact assessment mentioned the presence of Sangai deer at the cane basin. And all of you are familiar with uh, this uh, Sangai deer, which is primarily found in Manipur, Kibulam Jao National Park. So, these are the important environmental concerns of Kane Betwa project. Chilcot report, this is of course not pertaining to our country. This uh, Chilcot report is Iraq War Enquiry Report. Iraq War Enquiry Report is a Chilcot report, it is in the news. And this is SHG's self help groups loans at 7 percent interest rate and please go through this. This banks will provide loans to women SHGs at 7 percent per annum and up to rupees 3 lakh on credit up to rupees 3 lakh. It will be charged banks will be charging 7 percent interest per annum and they are linked to institutional finance under Deen Dayal Anchodaya Yojana. So, remaining things you can go through. Then Union Ministry of Law and Justice constituted a high level committee to review institutionalization of arbitration mechanism in our country. It will be headed by B. N. Sri Krishna. Then Union Sports Ministry constituted a committee headed by Srinivas, Sports Secretary basically to frame National Sports Development Code to identify the universal principles of ethics and good governance as far as sports is concerned and for that purpose this national sports development code is to be drafted and for that one committee is formed. Then SEBI formed Narayana Murthy committee and here with regard to alternative investment funds and based on the recommendations of Narayana Murthy committee recently guidelines were issued. Angel investors can invest up to 5 year old entities and lock in period is reduced minimum investment reduced to 25 lakh from 50 lakh and upper limit of number of angel investors in a scheme increased from 49 to 200. The committee gave the report which says it should not be based on investment, it the basis must be job creation, job creation must be basis for classifying MSMEs and it gave some other recommendations also, I am not going into those details. Encasing panel on FRBM Act 2003 submitted its report. So, encasing panel gave the report and here one important aspect is by 2023 overall debt should be pegged with GDP, 40 percent public debt must be restricted to 40 percent for centre, 20 percent for states overall. 60 percent the public debt must be restricted to 60 percent of GDP for center and states put together and meanwhile the it also allowed escape clause I am talking about till 2023. Till 2023 the committee also accepted or you can say the committee also given scope for expanding the fiscal deficit target by 0.5 percent under certain circumstances, right. So, this is about encasing panel committee. Then four member committee of administrators headed by former CAG Vinod Rai to oversee BCCI. So, here to oversee the BCCI affairs actually this is to look into the implementation of RM Lodha committee reforms. So, here committee of administrators and RM Lodha committee, please do not forget this committee is committee of administrators to oversee the functioning of BCCI. Here eight member task force was constituted to prepare action plan for the next three Olympic games of 2020-24-28. Then Niti Ayog has formed a committee to prepare a model contract law for the and submit its report in 3 months. Here this is to a price realization and reduction of post harvest losses and contract farming will give thrust to food processing industry, right. This is the meaning of contract farming. Then environmental ministry identified an area of 56,825 square kilometer in western ghats as ecologically sensitive area. This spreads across 6 states 
and mining activities, major construction activities, highly polluting industries are prohibited from operating in ESA, right. So, Western Ghats, it passes through six states and Western Ghats, why they are important, I have given here, you can go through them and it is one of the world's 10 biodiversity hotspots and please compare between Madhav Ghat Gale Committee, Kasturi Rangan Committee, very important, please go through this slide. And now, government notified this ecologically sensitive area in Western Ghats and the area is reduced, right. And if you go further, government approved most of the recommendations of committee of experts headed by Lieutenant General D. B. Shakatkar. This committee gave the report to enhance combat capability and rebalance defense expenditure of the armed forces. So, it recommended for downsizing or rationalization of manpower in non-fighter roles or you can say non-combat organizations. So, to increase the combat capability of the armed forces, Shakatkar committee was constituted and at the same time, do not forget about Dhirendra Singh committee. Based on Dhirendra Singh Committee recommendations, government announced defense procurement procedure and this defense procurement procedure 2016 is based on Dhirendra Singh Committee recommendations and please do not forget about this. It introduced a new class IDDM platform very important from examination perspective. This is very, very important for domestic design. 40 percent domestic content is mandatory. If the design is not Indian, 60 percent should be domestic content, then only it will be categorized as IDDM or indigenously designed, developed and manufactured platform. So, from examination perspective, IDDM is very important and make Indian. So, please go through this slide. It gives full picture about what is meant by make Indian, right. And then Union Cabinet approved setting up of independent rail regulator, Rail Development Authority. Rail Development Authority will have advisory jurisdiction very, very important and it will make recommendations to the railway ministry and initially it will be executive body and three functions are given. One is tariff determination, second one is ensuring fair play for promoting private investments, then at the same time setting the standards. Then CCEA approved the extension of implementation of CCTNS project. From examination perspective, you should not forget what is NAT grid we discussed previously and what is the CCTNS, crime and criminal tracking network and systems, right. So, CCTNS project is to interconnect all the police stations to reduce the crime rate, right. So, friends. We completed today's revision class and some more are left over. We will discuss maybe after a week or so with regard to committees and commissions and hopefully from Monday, I will discuss geography of India. Probably it may take around 3-4 classes. I would like to cover as many uh, issues as possible as far as geography of India is concerned and this committees class, you may have one more class maybe after one week or so and the students are asking about ecology and environment and in fact, I am covering several aspects of ecology and environment during the past one week or so and I will try to cover remaining also during the last week. Art and culture is another thing where students are asking and I covered several aspects pertaining to economy. Please be cautious about economy terms, do not forget them because uh, I covered most of the things and remaining things I will cover in the last week. So, like this, this series will go on up to 30, right. What best is possible from learning space side we are doing. Have a nice day. Thank you.